Hello and welcome to KCAC Rocket League. We're going to kick things off with a fantastic stream today. My name is Ethan. I'm joined by Soy. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing fantastic. It's great to get right back into the, the swing of things here in the KCAC with some Rocket League action. And this conference is going to be so much fun this season. Yeah, I'm ready to kick this thing off with a blast as well. We have Korea University going up against your city today. And uh, so you were kind of telling me what your expectations were in the green room. Why don't you share? with everyone else what you're thinking. It's going to be a really fun matchup to see. Concordia University, they are a brand new school here competing in the KCAC this season. So complete wild cards, you know, really hard to prepare for if you're trying to get ready for week one action. And on the flip side, the York Panthers, you know, they were in the playoffs last year, had a pretty deep losers bracket run, dropped early, but then they beat the uh, St. Mary Spire, they beat the Ottawa Braves, and then they fell in the seven or in the losers semis to the Oklahoma Wesleyan Eagles Navy squad. So this team can certainly, you know, catch fire at the right time, but we'll have to see how they play here in week one. Exactly. And I think that's what's so interesting, right? You sort of have, not from nothing, Thing. You're starting back from the beginning to a certain extent whenever you're potentially bringing in new having to reset and relook for some of that gameplay that you maybe haven't been having with the rest of your team throughout the, the summer break. And so all of that kind of getting kicked off today is perfect for what we're expecting, which is fireworks, I would imagine. Of course, I, I actually don't know too much of, about what to expect. If you had to put a... Like, like a clear indicator, who is the favorite? See, I'm going to go with what we know, and that's York University. And I really like what we're going to see out of the Panthers. You know, this is a squad that was kind of on the come up, a lot of underclassmen, I believe, uh, you know, starting to really get uh, a good uh, grasp of how to play with each other. And two returning players, too, are, are a good sign. Bondo and Electric in particular, the two of them combined for a handful of goals last year. And York, the way that they liked to play, especially in those playoffs last year, was it was very defense and counterattack heavy. If they catch Concordia, you know, stepping too far forward, kind of, you know, too loose in some of this action, I like what we're going to see, the, the kind of known and uh, chemistry that we're going to get out of the York Panthers in this one. Yeah, it is hard to admit against the Concordia hand, though. I do think, listen, coming in here, new face, that in and of itself, a little bit exciting to get to see what they have to bring. But on top of that, um, York don't know what's coming at them. They don't know what to expect. There's no way to prepare, so to speak, for what Concordia may be able to bring. So it's going to be about if York can use those strengths that you were talking to maybe find themselves some of that counter punching or themselves some um, additional aggression off the back of that. Nonetheless, though, for Concordia, I'm excited to see them here. And the fact that uh, to, to bring them in first stream and they're, they're here as well is... Yeah, it's got to be really exciting for the players, right, to join a brand new esports conference. And, you know, you are on for the first match of the day, the first match of the new season here. So uh, there's going to be, you know, I think a little bit of energy behind their play. And well, York getting off to at least initially a bit of a rocky start there, Concordia ball in their side of the pitch but it's going to be great. taking control small potato i don't know how that's a demo but gets away with it and it's not clear control in the midfield for the first 30 seconds trying to play this one out of the corner here and they'll be able to do so pretty cleanly nice dribble around another one can you get the dunk as well oh my first goal this season and it's highlight reel material coast to coast here to put concordia up What's so incredible about that touch as well is that York just get entirely out maneuvered in that engagement. But there's just nothing to be done. And so Concordia off with a bang, it would seem, to get things started in the KDC. It'll be Tay CJ to take control, trying to put that ball in front of the net. Gets the front of the net part right, but doesn't really have an angle to work from there out to the side wide. As Astrum with another nice touch, attempting to put that one away. A little bit of a missed touch by both the sport. York can get counterattack. 
dangerous ball in front there. I believe that's Astrum who will be able to clear that ball away for the moment. Demo comes through and a bump on the backside. Could be a shot, not on target. Close though, and now maybe going the other way from distance. The rebound and they'll score. It's electric to tap it in. Just nicely done, right? Gotta get the read here. Offside wall and perfectly playing. Nobody for Concordia back in time. And it's really not even particularly good. So, York tie the game right back up as we head forward. Three minutes, 45 seconds left in this opening game. Nice touch. That's going to put a ball into place for Concordia. Off the rip as well. Seemingly out of nowhere, too. Look at the power that they get into that corner. And the kick out just goes right along the goal line. And Small Potato is just racing at Mach 10 to reach over to that ball and if he gets there it's an easy open net and all of a sudden it's a two to one lead for Concordia but I love this look at the passing play down in front off the crossbar the rebound chance here and electric punches it in this is just back and forth between these two what a strong touch initially going for the net and then I mean electric just following up really well on that high scoring game already it would seem we're in for today things are kicking off with a bang indeed electric is trying to move through this corner here good fake out but no one is there in the midfield and that's one thing you got to look for in this series these infield passes are real dangerous but is there a player there ready to receive it as that one was off the bar by Bondo, and the rebound will go to Electric. That's a hat trick already, just two minutes into the action. I mean, this is one of the guys you didn't talk about in the pre show. You made a turning player absolutely dominating, and some key missed touch for Concordia as well, right in front of the net. Those are where it's most dangerous to make a mistake, and Concordia unfortunately pay the price for that error. Bondo giving a demo initially off the kickoff as control in the hands of Concordia. Get that touch out wide to TCJ. He'll go for a 50. Doesn't really hold on to control. Now, I think back towards the Concordia half. But that seems only temporary. Continuing hold station on this defense. Kaisi with an attempted shot in front of that net. Still nothing on target. Good save made, rebound chance, short side, open net now, and Astrum will be there to jump on it. Tie game at three apiece here, and this is the danger of that corner play. You try and use it to clear, sends it right back to the man at the midfield, and the infield pass just follows through, and Astrum, right place on that rotation, is able to turn quickly. So, right at the halfway mark, and six goals already on the board in total, and a tie game at three piece i like the aggression that we've been seeing here and there from concordia on taking some of these touches really making sure to not allow your free control of this ball at least not throughout nice touch from electric attempting to get a bump back of that it will be tay cj who was unfortunately denied any follow-up go center but cleared back out the fight here at midfield has been so impressed it feels for teams actually consistently holding control for extended periods. No, I, I think both teams are really trying to stretch the field and oh, the pinch is going to go all the way across the net. But that's something that York did really well is breaking out of their own defensive zone. You can see that they're trying to find each other. They're trying to stretch these passes, especially towards the sidewall. That immediately gives them a chance to you know, force that ball into the middle and potentially get a chance on net because of it. Bondo tries to read that that tip up high, but won't be able to get a piece of it. Ace will keep it in. Small potato. That one goes off of the top side of his car, and Tacey J will be able to clear that one away. Still a tie game at three apiece with now a minute remaining. Nicely done. This at this point. I'm looking at one goal could seal the deal. That could have been a dangerous stuff trick. Ball doesn't end up getting any follow up though. Nicely done from Astrum. We'll put it out wide and opportunity. 
right back in there. Bond trying to set things up, but there's nobody there for York to follow that up. Now Ace in control, clearing it out again. Back to midfield. So it's to me like Swap Potato had the read of it, but doesn't get there in time. The bounce might just... But Bondo clears it away. Huge stand there. Bondo quick to respond after he saw it get over his teammate's head. Now Electric trying to make something happen, but he's got minimal boost in the tank. He's just trying to fake out and buy some time. Now that one's cleared off the boards. Electric has the touch to clear it on the target, but Astrum will be able to make the save back into the orange half. Pinch goes back towards Astrum. Forked back into the corner. Short time now. Can they keep it up? No, it will fall to the ground. We've got overtime for our first match of the year. Exactly. He is golden goal. Uh-oh. Electric a little bit slow to get moving. Finally, it seems to jump out into there. Thought maybe a DC could have been the problem. This might still be for Concordia. First top, top, cleared away by Bondo. Can't quite get there, Tay, in time. And so now the counter attack for York University brings it back, though, by Astrum. Nearly goes past the trick, but the controller. Got a turn here at midfield. TCJ will be able to send this one in. What a kick out by Bondo. That was redirected down in front, and Bondo oh. will score! 41 seconds into overtime, and it's going to be York taking game one. What a nice setup as well from Electric. Just beautiful touch and feathering it, making sure that it's too far forward, doesn't go too wide or anything like that. Electric having an electrifying first game and potentially series here with Casey and York University. That guy was the it factor, wasn't he? Yeah, Electric and Bondo, the two of them in particular, they've got very good chemistry after playing together last year, but you can already see the steps that they've taken. They've really grown. In that playoff run, they were the players that had to step up to make the touches, to get their offense going, to get on the board. And help spark that that Some loser's bracket touches. run that they went really on but in particular to, uh, you called it out electric with a fantastic start of this to this ball. series three goals already and he makes the pass in front to his buddy bondo bondo also i, I gotta mention he's on the dominus which was not something he played a lot of last year so he really likes the power and that touch that pass off the backboard that's something you can really only get in the dominus because of that plank hitbox that extra little bit of oomph behind that hit sets up that perfect pass exactly and, and well now i think the gauntlet word of for concordia came initially right those opening two and a half i mean punch for punch it was exactly what we were hoping to see when we got towards the back end there was some adjustments from york it felt like being a little less ambitious with their aggression maybe you noticed something as well but i i kind of noticed that they were being a bit more tentative in their chances when they had the best stop not just kind of throwing every every opportunity and unfortunately for concordia that difficult for them to find chances i think part of it was that they did not want to allow what happened early on in the game to continue to happen i talked about it how york likes these counter attacks they're finding ways to transition from defense to offense often by passing it to a member already on the sidewall already ready to force a shot on net and so they were sitting a little bit farther back at the midfield and making sure that you know there was a player ready to respond to that passing lane as 30 seconds into the match here and looks like york had a chance or sorry concordia had a chance but york was able to get the stop astrum really liked his play in game number one but he won't be able to do much here and bondo is nearly going to find the double tap shots low and it's saved tacy j will be able to make that stop the backboard though for sure sets up those scoring opportunities even though it doesn't work out this time it's absolutely the right ideas electric going to continue to take control nice touch all right over the top and astrum doing some phenomenal defensive work up against two players there in a 2v1 it comes up on top and it continues into mid bit of a win in the 50. unfortunately up to be had so concordia lose the control value for really like the play from electric there recognize that in the corner he had a lot of time there was no one really near him and so 
Oftentimes, if you're in that odd spot on the corner of the wall, you'll panic, but oh my, this one's gonna be dangerous. Drops down in front, hits the backside of the car, another shot, and Astrum will deflect that one wide. Now redirected off the corner, and TCJ will try and transition through the midfield. Astrum comes off the backboard, but he's got no boost left, needs help. Ace is keeping the pressure on here from the corner now, stays up high, and Astrum was able to dive back across, but he's still got no boost in the tank. Someone else on this Concordia defense has to make this clear, and it's going to be Small Potato. Now what to do with it? Can he move forward? No. Yeah. <laughs> Instantly demoed. But not immediate control back into York's the possession. Well, okay. I tell a lie. It, it was very much that, but only Potato gets back. Electric trying for a touch to clear out wide. Really go where intended. This one will, and it's Bondo it's trying to get into the corner. Small potato continuing to make some of his work off the backboard, but no touch. It'll be Patrick to do the touch. Yeah, but well, again, Astrum, the defensive prowess from Astrum has been. It's been such a huge factor for Concordia as that one, a little bit of a fake thrown in there and no one coming up with the touch. Tacey J will have to backtrack. No boost though, I believe Electric stole the back corner. So he's in a bit of a predicament here and it nearly teardrops down into the net, but it will be saved away. Bondo's challenge kicks hard out wide. Ace backflips here. Tacey J is up, sends one on, but it will be cleared away right down the middle now and Astrum will have a chance at this one. Power oh, shot you... towards the backboard. Does he have the double tap? Oh my mercy, what an angle from Astro. And it's all the way from essentially the other side of this pitch. Just a nice boom thing that was easy enough to follow up from the backboard. And I was just about to mention, I mean, it was what, close to six minutes with one goal, and that was in the overtime until just now. That is in after the domination of back and forth that we were seeing the opening two minutes of the first, first now Concordia, 90 seconds to hold on to this lead. Really like the play that we're seeing. Both teams really recognizing how much space they have when they get the ball. They're really good at judging you know, how much time they have to make the correct play or the play that they want. And that's part of why you saw that goal from Astrum. But look at the feed down in front to Electric. Oh my, Ace with the pass right off the post. And as Astrum, you have to respect this shot. And they read it perfectly to send it off the wall to Electric. This is one of those situations. Cordia, they had the play response, but it was just such a well ball. But the execution that really there was nothing to be done by Concordia. It left out something in the to stop that touch and this one might just swiftly yes it will bondo from a little bit of distance just a nice chip ball watch this potato doesn't have that touch off the wall and bondo's so quick to leap on it look at that shot like you mentioned a powerful one off the crossbar and in and not every <laughs> you know not every goaltender is going to even get a a piece of that one or jump for it well placed shot but maybe it goes the other way now Chipped in front. Oh my goodness, what a redirect. Tacey J, I thought he was out of boost, but he still gets a hand on it and nearly deflects that ball into the net. 40 seconds now, and Potato keeps it in the orange half. Tacey J goes up for it, but cannot make contact, and York will look to kill some time. That's two close attempts from Tacey J. Really heating up right when it's needed most. In the last 30 seconds, regulation. Got to score. Push it to another overtime. Just see two overtime and spending two games if it were to come to that small potato. Needing it, trying to drop it right at nearly gets there. And the back flick in order to get to that second touch, but no touch had. Now just gotta keep control. Ace can redirect off of him, and that's perfect. York have just struck a bit of security for the last five seconds. Electric said 50-50, nah, this is 90-10 at best. Look at the dunk he gets, and it goes right into the back post there. No chance for Concordia to even respond to that one, and they're out of time here as well. York is going to take game two of this series and be one step closer to victory. 
AR. So right now, you're and it's gonna be all the way engine, from maybe, so like, essentially the other side of this bitch. Of them. And nice looking very much. Potato like doesn't have that touch out the back wall, back and Bond is so quick to the 90 back, second like, mark. In order to get one to goal, touch, but no touch pad. Now season. just got to get control. The game one and redirect off of it. Arrow to edge out the lead and the victory at the very end of it. So as much as you listen, it was three to one that that really doesn't tell the whole tale does it it's more like that could have either way and concordia is still very much in this though they will require the all yeah, it is it, it honestly reminds me a lot of that playoff series from last year where even though the score line says okay this series was 3-0 this series was 4-0 this series was 3-1 Every game, you know, felt like it was close up until that one turning point, you know, in the final minute or so. It's a one goal game until that one mistake comes through. And right there at the end, it's a one goal game, but they get a little antsy with that clear trying to power it forward and electric reads it well. It just ends up in the back of the net. So we'll have to see for Concordia what they can do. Their defense is, uh, you know, going to be, I think, a... a something to watch here in game number three because that's what's really getting tested uh, a lot here by york on these kind of side angles these odd approaches they're gonna have to find a way to to break through and clear this ball out a little bit cleaner so that their offense can generate a few more chances look at what bond has got <laughs> <laughs> the lawnmower <laughs> yep how is it exactly what that means york though come yet by any means been great defensively about getting a nice feed over to small potato doesn't quite get there to close the deal and there's still a clear clear comes the 50 and astrum continuing to win it there's some space here in the midfield coming aggressive across with this bond goes out of the way dangerous moments as that touch is brilliant straight to small potatoes hands to fit prowess from Concordia continuing to find success. Ooh, Electric bumped his own teammate there, but he is able to turn on this one and buy some time. Gets a decent 50 as well. No shot here for a small potato. He will be able to kick that one out, keep the pressure on for the moment. No touch coming through here. Now diving at his Tacey J. Bounce shot! Save made by Ace along the goal line. What a save that was. And oh, Flip reset here <laughs> from Electric. I didn't even see it. I don't I didn't even think he got it, and somehow he pulls it off! You didn't do word expect No, he just pulls it back! He declared no, 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 Electric was done, not by hell. Best goal of this matchup by far. What a huge goal, too. An emphatic statement when you get a flip reset like that, all the way across the field is where that play started. TCJ sends it into the zone. Demo on electric. Trying to free up some space, but Ace is there to read it. Astro dumps it back in, and Electric has the down low right now. It's going to kick out in front, and he's going to win the race to it. 2 0 for York University. So devastating for Small Potato here as well. Reads it correctly, even gets the demo. The party hit. The race, as you said, was won. An electric with another goal that has put your up by two. But insurance to add to the one goal lead they had picked up three minutes. And also, oh, oh, continuing to Concordia. Huge one there off the crossbar. Early kick out to the wall now for electric. Two players are here. TCJ will dive at it. TCJ had a really good game number two. Got a lot of key touches, but could not bury the chance when he had it. East will have to backtrack here off the corner now. Dangerous ball in front. Redirection off of two defenders there. And Bondo will get the clear, but you saw the danger there. The defense of York getting a little bit uh, misconstrued. Yeah, uh, they got grouped up right in front of their own net, and that nearly did smell destruction for them. Would have erased the insurance that they've so desperately been fighting to hold on to. See, with a nice center ball off the back. Nobody up with it. No touch there in mid. Back. They get it over to some and he can attack. But follow up. Leakers are great for Concordia, but they don't wait far enough for it to take advantage of them. 
And these pockets, they're finding the areas where there is some space to work with. But the other problem is that it's going to the corner, which is arguably the safest place for the ball to be. It's really easy for both sides to kind of read those bounces. As that one looks dangerous, but Ace calmly able to roll that one away. Maybe TCJ can do something here. No, what a clear off the backboard. Those touches, that timing has to be perfect, and it was by Ace right there. Speaking of Ace, killing the momentum for just a moment. York, the red control, and Electric will lose it at the side. The ball to midfield. Tacey Jane trying to set things up. He's been very, very good to make some of those setups work in the last couple of minutes, but as you mentioned, really no way to close these opportunities. A little Ooh. bit of a attempt to keep both players going wide at the end of the day. And a minute left to play. Or you're getting down to where they have to make a maneuver. This is start point where you might just have to go all out offense. You can see it too in that last clearing attempt. The second York get that clear, look where everyone on Concordia was, a little bit too far forward, backtracking at that ball, but they're gonna find the opening here, Small Potato mines the gap off of the Astrum pinch here, and look at that pass over top the second defender, and the angle to kick that one inside the near post. Yeah, and I think it actually worked out well to that ball for so long, because it really did group York up, or they didn't really have space to work with, and thus lost out. Well, that pinch to happen, but it's still not over yet. Astrum in a touch in this game, and Concordia needs to push it to open, give themselves a chance to bring this back. That's a ball, at least it would have been, had it gone wide or at least been clear to you. And both of those players I missed initially required to get a clear, and it's still not. Watched Electric with another nice touch, and time about to expire. Like he wants to well. Bondo's patience pays off here. Look at the defense scrambling along the goal line. Astrum's flipping. Tacy J's diving. Small Potatoes trying to get back in time, but Bondo just waited at midfield, and the ball rolled to his hood, and that is a death sentence for Concordia here in Week One. York get the 3-0 sweep. And you, you could see that was happening. The number one in the game comes to at the very end of that. I mean, multiple three, all three players there for Concordia are just desperately trying to do anything that they can to get it clear, to get something going. Especially because, listen, you're an opportunity for forward. If maybe on the right clear on target, it could have been a nice goal to tie the game to over. For time, but none the last. He got it, and somehow he pulls well it off. One pretty much on the back of this man. You just watched Electric play no, a great game. Just versus yeah. Watched Electric had a fantastic so series. Potato, so many goals, well, so many key touches, and on top of that, not just the patience pays off here. Look at the defense scrambling on the goal line. Astrid flipping with his actions. diving. That again, the chemistry with players like Bondo too to be able to read each other so well. They have really elevated themselves from last year. They're going to be exciting to watch as the season goes on. Well, that meant will be continuing here. We have you from York University. Don't know who we're going to get just yet, but we're going to go to Russia, and then we'll be back with that interview soon. Do not go anywhere.
Hello and welcome back. We have gotten finally made it with Bondo. First of all, hello and congratulations on the win, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, hard fought win. It was indeed. There was, you know, some dominance there towards the end, maybe, but the first couple of games were certainly a lot more tight, especially that second game, a lot tighter than it looked. Um, with that said, I know coming into this season, there have been some things that have stayed the same, some changes that have been made. Talk to me about what changes have been made and what has stayed the same. Yeah, so um, we have a lot more organization in our program now. We This is our third year for an esports program at all. Um, we've had Rocket League for all of, th uh, this will be our third year of Rocket League. So we've kind of developed not only what our team looks like, but also what our program looks like um, and how we all kind of fit into that. Um, so we've done a lot in terms of uh, uh, getting rosters set up and getting a lot of practice time together. Um, just getting a lot more synergy between us three specifically. Um, I think you mentioned at the beginning that uh, only two of us are returners. Uh, actually, our third is also a returner from last year. Ah. Um, Ace was on our team, so he's a little offended at that, but he'll be <laughs> he'll be okay. Um, but we've had a lot of time to play and get better uh, and really figure out how each other plays. Um, and once we won those first couple games, it was really uh, easy sailing from there because we had kind of gotten into our groove, uh, figured out how Concordia plays, and uh, really figured it out from there. Fair, fair enough. So my apologies to Ace then. I as so with uh, all three of you returning, you know, I guess uh, you know you've, we talked about how you guys had that that chemistry from from previous seasons. Uh, can you kind of talk about how all three of you have grown together? Like what steps you've taken, or have you have you done any? I guess kind of off season training. Uh, not a lot of off season. Uh, I'm pretty sure that. Uh, Ace and I hadn't touched Rocket League the entire summer, so coming back, it was a little, a little bit of uh, blowing the dust off, but we got it figured out. Um, in terms of synergy from last season, um, we really kind of go with the system of uh, Electric is our skill player, and we'll go for solo plays. Uh, Ace is going to set up the dime passes, and I'll close if we need to. I didn't even um, think but those, got it. Those, that's kind of our system that we go off. with. Um, and for the most part, it works. Sometimes there will be those uh, spots in our defense where we kind of get caught up. Um, but in terms of offense, we've got our system, we run with it, and it works for the most part, and we just kind of roll. And it worked here in, in this series, so you guys get the 3-0 the sweep. Uh, but it's the, the start of a new school year coming up. So what's one thing you're excited for to see uh, this season, be it in, in esports or uh, from the Scholastic side? Yeah, so uh, like I said earlier, this is our third year of esports, so we're really expanding as a program in general. We just added Valorant and Fortnite to our roster of games, uh, so we've got a lot of new players for those. Um, I'll be playing in Fortnite, so I'm excited. Or sorry, Valorant. I'm not playing Fortnite. Uh, I'll be playing uh, Valorant, so I'm excited for that. Um, and then uh, from the the college side of things, we have a ton of freshmen this year. This is one of our biggest freshman classes, um, at least since I've been here. So a lot of new people, a lot of new faces, um, and on a college campus where everybody kind of knows each other, I've really gotten to know a lot of new people over this uh, these first few weeks, and I'm excited to meet all kinds of new people and watch how our new teams really develop over this uh, year and future years. So I have to ask, you said you hadn't touched much of Rocket League over the summer. What's been your go-to game this summer? <laughs> what, what has been what, what have you been grinding? Uh, over the summer, it was a lot of Destiny Two. Um, which is sad because it's kind of running out of content now, but uh, it's a whole, that could be a whole other conversation. Uh, recently, in the, the tail end of the summer, I was playing a lot of Risk of Rain, too. Risk of Rain, great game. If you don't know it, look it up. It's a phenomenal roguelike. Those are two solid choices. Thank you. I approve, the Vincent approval. Well, before we yes. let you go, anybody you want to shout out, say hello to while we got you on the stream? Uh, my mom's watching. At least I hope she is. Hi, Mom. I did it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, shout out my team, shout out our coach. Um, we really come a long ways, and I'm super excited to see how this year goes. That's a W mom shout out. We love that here. Well, Bondo, thanks so much for taking the time to talk with us. It's been a pleasure, and congratulations to you and the team on the win as well. Thank you very much. I was trying to get back in time. Well, Alrighty, that's just about going to do it for today. So any final thoughts before we say goodbye to the fine people at home? 
Uh, I mean, this is just a, this is just week one of a long, long season ahead of us. The school year is just starting, and I I cannot wait for things to pick up as we get ready for week two. It is indeed just starting. We are just getting going. So make sure that you're tuning in here um, to all of the KCAC action. Drop a follow if you don't mind and if you're interested. With that, thanks so much for watching. Have a great night. Peace out. We'll see you next time.